Hello, in this session I am going to deal with structure. We have seen arrays. Arrays are nothing but collection of homogeneous data type. That means if I want to store the information about an employee or information about a student, then I need to use three different arrays. One array for student ID and one array for student name and another array for student marks. Why? Because student ID is of type integer so I need to use array of int student name is of type string so I need to use array of string and student marks is of type double then I need to use array of double now I cannot store these different types in a single array element why because array is collection of homogeneous data types but I have a solution with the help of structures now what is structure? Structure is nothing but it is a collection of similar and dissimilar data type elements or I can say heterogeneous data type elements. So I will just start a new project, name it as structure example, struct example, say ok. I can also say structure is a user defined data type like I have an integer, it is a predefined data type. I can create the variables of integer type. In the same way, I can define a structure and I can create the variables of structure. So what is that I need to define? I need to define the structure of the student. Structure of the student includes student ID, student name and student marks. So I will be declaring a structure above the class. See, till now whatever we have learned, we have learned the things inside the class or we have written the code inside the class. Now I will be writing some code outside the class and name it as struct student floor bracket open floor bracket close I am defining the structure int SID student ID string S name student name double marks or instead of marks I will say average so I have S ID, S name and say S average, student average. Save this. Now this is the structure of student. This collection of similar and dissimilar data type. I have integer, I have string, I have double, I have you know heterogeneous data type elements. Now what is it I want to do? I want to create a variable of type student. So I'll come to my class okay one more thing before declaring a variable let me write public now, what is public we will deal with this thing in our future classes so as of now you uh, uh, think that you know I need to write public to access them that's it. do remember that I am writing public now what is public why if I do not write public what happens and all these things we will be covering in our future classes so anyway I will just declare the variable of structure student like if I want to declare the variable of integer I will say int i in the same way I want to declare the variable of student I will say student s student s now I will save this I will declare the variable int i as well just to show the difference put a breakpoint execute this now let us see the memory allocations for i and s. See that for i it has allocated a single, single memory allocation that is of type integer. For s it has allocated three different location. One for s average that is of type double, another for s id that is of type int, another for s name that is of type string. Fine. So s is a structure variable and I have three fields in it id, name and average hope you are getting these things fine now how do I access the student id so I will be accessing the student id with the help of period operator like I was accessing the elements of an array using indexes like a of 0, 0 is an index a of 1, a of 2 in the same way if I want to access 
fields of a structure i will be using period operator period is nothing but dot operator so i'll say s dot in the intelligence itself it will show me s dot s id equals to 1221 that is the student id then s dot s name equals to manzoor then s dot s average equals to let me make it 88 fine so this is the average so i am accessing the fields with the help of dot operator that means i am assigning the values to these fields now let me put a breakpoint and execute this and i'll just show you how it is going to work now these are the fields i'll say f11 id got 1221 name got manzoor and average got 188.9 now i want to display them simple i'll say console dot right line s id s dot s id same way console dot right line s name s dot s name console dot right line s average same but s dot s average so i'll write console dot read line now i'll execute this I got student ID, student name, and student average marks. So this is how I am creating a single student. If I want to store the record of two students, two variables I can create. Three students, four students. In the same way, if I have some hundred students, do I need to create hundred variables? No. I can apply the concept of arrays to the structure. I'll just remove this int i. This is simple. I'll just comment it out. I'll just comment this. Now I'll just write separate student. I am declaring an array of students. In the same way, I used to declare the array of integer. So student square brackets s equals to new student square bracket five. Say I am trying to store the records of five students. Okay. Let us uh, first see how does the memory allocation takes place. you have s of 0 s of 1 s of 2 s of 3 s of 4 so you are accessing the element with the help of index now each element is of type structure so s of 0 dot s id s of 0 dot s average s of 0 dot s name so in this way i can access so just i'll just try to access uh, two records i'll try to store uh, records of two students S of zero dot S I D equals to twelve twenty one. S of zero dot S name equals to Manjur. S of zero dot S average equals to eighty eight point five. In the same way. the second record record of second student say s0 i'll go for s1 same way s2 s3 s4 till 4 see uh, hope uh, you are uh, you can simulate this with for uh, loop and with arrays of integer so to access the values from the keyboard i want to store all these values uh by giving the input from the keyboard so what is that i can do instead of me going for each and every time console dot read line console dot read line console dot read line and repeating the same code for five time definitely i can go with the help of for loops i'll say for int i equals to 0 i less than s dot length because s is an array of a structure automatically it will take the value 5 and here what is that i'll do 
एस ऑफ आई एल से एस ऑफ आई डॉट एस आई डी इक्वल्स टू इन डॉट पार्स कंसोल डॉट रीड लाइन ना बिफोर दिस एल जस्ट डिस्प्ले मैसेज कंसोल डॉट राइट लाइन एंटर एस आई डी नाउ इन द सेम वे एल से कंसोल डॉट राइट लाइन एंटर एस नेम फॉर दिस एल से एस ऑफ आई डॉट एस नेम इक्वल्स टू कंसोल डॉट रीड लाइन I need not to go for any kind of parsing. Why? Because whatever I am reading from the keyboard is a string, and I am trying to store that in string. Why? Because s name is of type string. Now, last thing, console dot write line enter average. So here I will say s of i dot s average equals to it is of type double so i need to go for double dot parse console dot read line so uh, with this we are able to accept the values or the information about five students and we are trying to store it in array of structure s now i want to display those things same same procedure i can go for this for loop for int i equals to 0 i less than s dot length and i'll just uh do one thing i'll make a copy of this so that it will be a little bit helpful for me say copy paste i'll uncomment this i'll say sid is equals to here i should say s of i dot sid s of i dot s name that means in first iteration it will get the record of zero student in the second look, uh, iteration it will get the record of first then the second then third then fourth till four it is going to work so i'll just display message console dot write line record so for every record it will display record this record this record this fine now let me execute this So I need to input five records, or records of five student. So student ID one, student name Tom, student percentage sixty seven point eight. Next second student, student ID. So I have given all the five records from the keyboard, and now I'm just trying to display all those records. If you observe from here, record one is Tom and sixty seven point eight. Two record two, this record three record four record five. So, this is how you can work with arrays of structure. That means I have array of students. Now, if you remember, I have spoken about for each loop. Now the same thing, same thing. I would like to work out with. for each loop see from here onwards we are, we are not going to deal with for loops i will be working with for each loops for each now here the type is not in in, in our earlier program in our uh, arrays we were working with integer type so i was saying int k so here i'll say it is of type student so i'll say student k in the collection my collection is capital s and for displaying purpose i'll just copy the same thing paste now instead of s of i and all these things i'll just say k it means that it is going to extract the first record and store it in k and it is going to display i'll just put a breakpoint okay before proceeding we'll just try to decrease the length of the array so that it will be a little bit helpful for me to give the input from the keyboard uh, it will be little fast so that i need to give only three records instead of giving five records every time just i'll say i'll put a breakpoint just press f5 now record 
is of Tom and the percentage is 67.9 record 2 is of Peter and its percentage is 89.6 record 3 is of Jack and say the percentage is 77 that's it now let us see now if you observe this I have the records of three students available with me fine three students now I'll say F11 even I have one more record K which is null now what is that it will do it will pick this first record and it will copy it to K so that it will pick the first record store it in K if you observe it. first record 67.9 1 and Tom it got stored in K now I am displaying K record 1 got displayed in the same way in the next iteration it is going to pick second record second record is 89.62 and Peter it is going to copy it in this K see the red one the same way in third iteration it is going to pick the third record cop put it in K and we are working with that so in this way we are working with each and every record one after the other and displaying all the records let me finish this with the last and uh, final example from the keyboard I am accepting three records and I want to display the record of only that student who secured more than 80 percent so what does that say I will say record of student who secured more than 80 percent console dot right line this time I want to display the records or records of those students who secured more than 80 percent so what is that I need to do I need to filter that's it I'll just say if k dot s average is greater than or equals to 80 then display these things else skip display fine now I'll execute this so it should display two records one and three Tom and Lily students who secured more than 80 percent record 1 Tom record 3 Lily hope you might have enjoyed this session thank you very much